We're here today in Chatswood again. It's a very rainy day, but God still saves on rainy days. Isn't that great? The God of this universe who created rain is not worried if it's a rainy day. There's still people out and about, people who need Jesus Christ as their saviour. And we're here today again to pray with people, to get people's heart right with God. Because you know, people, there's a battlefield of good and evil going on. There's a supernatural, spiritual warfare that goes on that we don't see in the unseen realm. But there's also a battlefield that goes on in the mind. Everybody's mind is a battlefield. Everybody's mind is making choices out of how their mind has been set up. They make a choice for good or evil. Think about it, people. Christian or non-Christian, every person is making choices. And they're making choices for to do the right thing, perhaps, or not. To, to sin or not to sin. To choose Christ or not to choose Christ. To reject him. There's a battlefield of the mind. And the Bible talks about the carnal mind. See you, guys. The Bible talks about the carnal mind. That's in enmity to God. It's against God. So when you are not born of the Spirit of God, your mind is against God. And people say, no, look, uh, I'm not against God. I know there's a higher power out there somewhere. That's not what I'm talking about. It's our mind is set up. We have a spirit, a mind, and a body. That's a human being. And our mind determines how we act, the decisions we make. And the Bible's very clear. It talks about the carnal mind. It talks about the battlefield. It says in Corinthians that though we walk in the flesh, this is the flesh, walking around in the flesh, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. It speaks about that spiritual warfare that's going on. We do not war after the flesh, but the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You don't get a block of wood and start trying to s smash those things in the spirit realm. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. The pulling down of strongholds, the casting down of imaginations in our mind, and the bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. That's important. It's important that we think spiritually. So this is the thing, the battlefield and the mind. The Bible talks a lot about the mind. It talks about the carnal mind. We've just talked about it. Fleshly things. Everything is about me. Everything is about the flesh. Everything is about what's best for me. I, me and myself. It's quite a selfish way of thinking, but that's the way human beings are set up. Without Christ in our life, what else do we have? We have a mind and we have a body. And we look to satisfying ourselves. So the, the, the Bible talks about the carnal mind. It talks about the defiled mind. That's an important one. What we find happening is you're spending your time looking at pornography. If you're spending your time feeding on things, horror movies and other things, feeding on whatever social media dishes up into your mind over and over and over again, your mind, your mind becomes defiled and your decision-making becomes defiled so that when something horrible is presented to you, it may not even appear horrible anymore. It might a appear acceptable and that's a problem. And the deeper it goes, the more we indulge in horror, pornography, sin, the more acceptable, horrible things become. So our mind is very important, people. It's very important how we treat our minds, we protect our minds. We don't just willy-nilly allow anything to be fed into us. So it talks about the defiled mind, the carnal mind. It talks about the mind being blinded, that's an important one. 
The Bible says that the little g God of this world, it's the devil we're talking about, roams around like a roaring lion to see who he can devour. It also talks about him blinding the minds of those people who reject Christ. People's minds can be blinded to the truth of the gospel. And I see it on people's faces a lot. They walk past, they do not want to accept Christ under any circumstances.